all right hello guys welcome back to another video today i'm gonna do a video on little rabbit i was on twitter earlier and somebody asked me to do a video on little rabbit so i'm gonna just try to do it as quickly as possible see how much we can find out about this token and right off the bat we can see that it has a 24 hour volume of $91,554 is currently ranking number 4428 on coin market cap and it's on the Binance Smart Chain. First of all, you know we always copy the contract address and guys, please remember you should always do your own research into deciding whether or not you're going to purchase a token. So for the last hour, it went up by 3.04% in the last 24 hours went down by 10.46% in the last 7 days went down by 2.32% in the last 30 days went down by 28% and this looks like it came out in September so it came out about September 21st it got released on coin market cap or it got listed on coin market cap about September 21st of 2021 and since then, it looks like the price has been stagnant since then. But 30 days ago, 20, down 28.99%. 7 days ago, went up by 2.33%. Last 24 hours, went down by 10.47%. And in the last hour, went up by 3.08%. And this token is extra, extra cheap. Because when you look at the price here, when you see that little um, less than sign... Is showing that the price is less than whatever you're seeing right there. Um, coin market cap don't usually show when it has like 13 zeros or 14 zeros before the first number. So we're gonna have to probably look at Poolcoin to see the exact um, price for that token or for each token. All right, so we're gonna click on the links section and we're gonna look at their Telegram to see how many people are in their Telegram. And here we can see they have over 54,706 members and currently have 3,765 members online. You remove the friendly so. All right, so it's been out since September, like three months ago. It came out like three months ago and I'm not seeing anybody crying about their money being lost so far. So it looks like people are actually able to buy and sell. All right, let's go back. So looks like people are, that's what I usually use to look and see if people are actually able to buy and sell. Anytime somebody cannot sell, you usually see their telegram littered with how do I sell. Slippage not working and stuff like that. Let's look at their Twitter. So they have 64,800 followers on Twitter. And let's see how active they've been. All right, so pin 1st of November. Sorry guys, and it shows that they tweeted one day ago, two days ago, five days ago. So they're not super active um, on Twitter. And here they're showing that they've crossed the 400,000 holders five days ago. So we're going to check that out too, guys. We're going to check to see how many holders there are. All right, let's go back. Let's go right back. And let's open their website. So it says newlittlerabbit.net. So let's open that. Open with Chrome. And here it shows farm staking, little rabbit to harvest. All right, we're not seeing. All right, it says circulating supply. It shows that there's. I think this is like way past quintillion. I'm not even sure. <laughs> How much this is right now because this is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 21 zeros after the 100. I'm not sure what comes after quintillion. I think that's more than quintillion. So that's a lot of um, tokens out there. And it's showing that the total, total locked, I'm not sure. Oh, <clears throat> total locked in farms, pools, and the launch pad is over $68,000. But we're not seeing anything like their tokenomics. We're going to check and see. Let's see, launch pad. Stake is showing you the stake little rabbit token to earn tokens you can unstake at any time 
deposit fees will automatically be burnt so are you up have the option of staking but i'm not sure how much they offer um in returns on their staking now let's see pools you can search for different pools here all right so we're not seeing anything about their um white paper or anything like that let's see trade pools launch pad audit let's see audit coming soon so they need to like put their white paper up here so we can see what their white paper and stuff um what's what what they have planned in their white paper and stuff for this token so that's one thing i would add to this um website is add what they have planned for the token like in utility and stuff like that all right so let's just jump over to pool coin and we're gonna search for this token we're gonna click paste and there it is little rabbit they have their logo or their emoji thingy listed on here all right so let's look at the price so here you see the price so it has one two three four five. about 15 zeros before the first two so that's why coin market cap shows that it's less than whatever they show so the price for one token here is very 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 low it shows that this chart is showing the last 24 the last 12 hours of this token at this moment it looks like it's on a recovery right now because it was falling for like a couple minutes and now it's on a recovery you can see that right here so you can see like the token is trying to rally rally upwards right here it's done it a whole bunch of times you can see all it does is go down up down up down up so right now it's gonna i think this is gonna go up for a little bit before it starts falling again all right so let's see the buys and sells here so it shows that one minute ago somebody bought fourteen dollars fifty eight cents we see a couple buys then a couple sells right there a couple more buys a couple more sells a thousand one thousand four hundred and eighty three dollars worth of buying right there and let's see some of the top sellers and you'll see some of the top sellers right here all right so people are actually able to buy and sell so here it shows you the total supply and it shows you the market cap uh, of as being 22 22.9 million dollars market cap and it shows that there's 260.8 being being um the liquidity pool or in the first liquidity pool that's total 135,000 dollars 739 so we're gonna click and see um how the liquidity pool is distributed so we should see that the top address in the liquidity is a dead address the null address and that has 96.88 percent of the liquidity and then a locked wallet has 1.55 percent of the liquidity so that looks good for this token we're gonna look at the holders next we're gonna see the top holders in this wallet in this token and here we see that five days ago they said they passed the 400,000 holders limit our yeah, limit our threshold and now they since that five days ago they've gotten 5199 more um holders so there's um 405199 addresses holding this um token as of now and let's see the top holders in this wallet are number one and number two which is the little rabbit token and the null address so those came come up to 50 percent overall so those are both locked locked and dead and then the highest wallet in this only holds 3.8 percent so i'm not going to say that is bad or nothing i usually like seeing wallets with our tokens with the top holder holding less than eight percent and this is only 3.8 percent for the top top wallet in this token all right so next we're gonna go back and we're gonna click on contract it's a little rabbit contract and we're gonna see if the ownership has been renounced we're gonna scroll up a little bit click on read and you should see owner with a whole bunch of zeros so that's named an owner at number 11 you can see the ownership has been renounced so no, the owners cannot go in and change <clears throat> anything like the price and stuff like that we're just, just going to jump right into another tool this dex.guru so dex.guru we're going to paste the address in their search bar we're going to click paste and when little rabbit pop up we're going to click on little rabbit wait for it to load a little bit and he, there you can see in the last 10 minutes it's been moving up a little and then we're going to click on liquidity to see how much liquidity is there and liquidity is currently at 134,173 dollars 
and we can scroll down to see what's been removed what's been added we can see that two days ago 786 dollars worth of liquidity was removed three days ago 797 dollars worth of liquidity was added <clears throat> so if you just want to see all the liquidity that was added you can click on the add section and you'll see everything that was added in recent times or you can scroll back up and click on removes and you see all the liquidity that has been removed you can see even four days ago $1,629 was removed from the liquidity all right so we can even click on um, activity see how many buys and sells there's been um, this is one of the first tokens I haven't seen any like whales or sharks or tortoises in but this has just been this is just showing the last activity for the last 35 minutes so we're not sure if any whales were in it before or not but we can see that 34 minutes ago somebody bought $1,460 2.85 BNB all right so that's really it what um i really and then trading volume for 24 hours is eight to one thousand one hundred and forty three dollars and this is uh, i usually only come here to see really the liquidity what's been happening to the liquidity with this tool and the uh, activity with this tool next we're gonna jump over to bs check we're just gonna try and load this token into as many tools as we can so we're gonna paste check and we're gonna see what comes out so this is one of the only tokens that i've ever seen the um results being as seem safe i think there was only like one token a couple weeks ago that shows me seem safe but this is one of the only tokens i think this is probably the second token that i've ever showed me on bscheck.eu that says seems safe every other token is always warning or um seam scam but this says seems safe let's see why it's saying that it's saying no that out of the total supply there's um 6.7 percent of the token has been burnt there's over 403,000 um over 403,000 holders buy tax and sell tax are currently at 10 percent we all know that um token sniffer and bs check like when the buy tax and sell tax are both below 10 percent but we've already proven that a higher a high sell tax is usually or usually helps the token to keep um to stop um people whales and stuff from coming in buying cheap then selling um high and stuff like that but uh low buy tax and low sell tax is also good they got a good score to show that the ownership has been renounced show that the dev liquidity the dev wallets are okay it shows that there's 273.26 bnb in the liquidity and it shows that um, 96.83 have been burnt and then 1.5 has been locked in uh, the first address and then 0.24 has been locked in the um, third address. And then as we said earlier, the um, top holders in this wallet, the top wallet here is showing 3.8%. So that's why they got a seam safe. They got a seam safe because their liquidity looks okay. Um, the contract ownership has been renounced and buy tax and sell tax are both 10%. So that's why they got to seem safe. We're going to jump over to token sniffer, see what score token sniffer. Since we got a seam safe over here, let's see what token sniffer gives this token. So we're going to click on the search pace. We're going to let it load. Let's see what score over 80, but they only got a 65. So here they show that the buy tax, sell tax is... 10% each they got a bad score for I think copying the contract and they it shows that on, only 6.72% of the token has been um, burnt and it shows that at least 95% of the liquidity has been burnt or locked and that's 96.88% of the liquidity has been burnt so 65 i'm not sure if they should get a 65 they probably should get more than 65 because i think i've seen tokens with worse um specs than this that get way more probably just because they got a brand new type of um contract and stuff like that but guys there's not much that i can do um in less than 20 minutes i'm trying to make this token be less than 20 minutes and I've done what I usually do to start off investigating in these tokens. My next move would be to jump into their Telegram 
and start asking questions about this token before I decide whether or not I'm going to invest any money into it. So you guys can do that or you can load up a couple more tools and try to decide whether or not this token is a fit for you. You can try to see how it's been reacting to buys and sells over the last couple of weeks or last couple of months and decide if you it now is a good time because sometimes you can get into these tokens and right after you get in it can fall all the way down to like 50 fall fall drop by 50 percent 60 percent or stuff like that i usually if i'm interested in a token i'll watch it for a day or two or probably even a couple of days and see how how much it re, um, goes up and how much it goes down if i see that the token keeps going up and not falling i'll usually wait till it falls and then when it falls i'll get in that's my strategy you guys got to come up with your own strategy or compound on my strategy that's what i usually do before i decide to get into a token but guys please remember to always do your own research come to your own conclusions of whether or not to buy a token but as far as i can see i i'm going to put this on the record record and say i like this token it's been around for a minute not not super long like bitcoin or those other tokens but it's been around for like three months and currently people are able to buy and sell they have a massive twitter following they have a massive um telegram group and people seem to be able to buy and sell at this moment the price is very very low and i think there is some places that this token can probably go but what the only reason why i wouldn't probably not buy this token is because i i haven't been able to find their um white paper yet but i think if you're thinking about purchasing this token you should probably go to their telegram and ask them for their white paper they usually give you a, a link to their white paper to see how their tokenomics work and then you can decide hey this works for me or no this does not work for me but guys please always remember to do your own research put your request in the comment section of which token you would like me to do a video on next or join my telegram my telegram link is in the comment section you can click on that and join my telegram there's a couple of us over there that talk on the regular every single day we have messages or ideas floating around or we have any tokens we come across we'll usually put it in there and have everybody else kind of do a little research on it and tell us what they think about it or i'll tell you guys what i think about it so join my telegram like share and subscribe and have a nice day